Sean Strickland is the new UFC middleweight champion and he was a guest on the Full Sand podcast. During the interview, he had some questionable remarks about Islam, especially about our Muslim sisters and their modesty. So without wasting any time, let's watch the clips and come back. You know what it is though? Like I've laid off Islam because I have a lot of Muslim friends. You know, I have a lot of Muslim friends. And bro, and they take it like- <laughs> you used to go in on them or what? I would go hard on Islam. Dude. But again, rightly- <laughs> And so, rightly so, dude. Like, it's there's a difference between American values and Islamic. For sure, for sure. What value is he talking about? Like I always say, all these so-called conservatives love to pretend to be against woke culture. They keep talking about liberalism and how liberals are taking over. But as soon as Islam is brought up by the same conservatives, they will become liberals and use the same liberal feministic beliefs to attack Islam. Let me be clear on this. Muslims have existed in America for more than 400 years. Stop pretending that Muslims are only Arabs who came because of immigration. According to Aylin D. Austin in his book, African Muslims in Antebellum America, Transatlantic Stories and Spiritual Struggles. 30% of African slaves brought up to America were Muslims, and the majority of them were from West and Central African countries like Gambia and Cameroon. Subhanallah, my African brothers and sisters were happy in their lands, but they were forced to come to the USA. And we have today Sean telling Muslim African Americans, we brought you here, so forget about your previous life and just submit yourself to European culture. This is the subtle racism and ignorance of this type of person. And by the way, his argument is the same as that of the slave masters who forced my African brothers and sisters to leave Islam and become Christians the religion of the white slave masters. And when we Muslims speak, we always bring evidences, inshallah. I invite you to read A History of Islam in America by Kambiz Ganya Basiri. And you'll understand how African Muslim slaves were forced to abandon Islam by their slave masters, just to separate them from their culture and their religious roots, and also to civilize them to Christianity. So when you hear people like Sean Strickland talking about Islam, you'll notice that they are talking about it as if they are talking about a country and not a religious belief. In their heads, they imagine a black or brown person trying to take over their white country. Someone had a conversation with you that, that changed everything? Yeah, a guy, uh, Albert Duroff. So I would go hard on Islam, bro. I mean, I'd post pictures of Muhammad. Like, I would go hard. So any Muslim watching this video should understand that this person is an enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. I know Muslims love watching the UFC, especially after Khabib Nurmagomedov dominated the sport. But this should not be at the cost of our loyalty to Islam. This guy is an open enemy. And inshallah, we will hate him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I still, here's the thing, dude. I still like, America is America. And I don't get about your country. Like, you know, China does horrendous things. There's so many countries that do horrendous things. And I don't think Islam is compatible with equality and freedom. And, and, and so I, I don't insult them. I don't, I don't dig like I used to dig. But if you put a camera, if Albert was in front of me, I would tell you, I do not think Islam is compatible with, with equality. American values. With American values. It is totally different. It right? is totally yeah. different. Just like I said, he's talking about Islam as if it is a country. Clear cut ignorance. According to the first amendment of the American constitution, the first amendment provides that Congress make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting its free exercise. It protects freedom of speech, the press, assembly, and the right to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So if Sean is a real American and respects the American constitution, he should be at the front front defending the rights of Muslim Americans and defend their freedom of religion. But no, according to him, you have freedom of religion as long as you are not a Muslim. So for Strickland to be happy with Muslims and Islam, Muslim women should get naked so he can enjoy their skin like a pervert dog. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what you think. We will teach our Muslim children modesty. We will protect our sisters from the eyes of men like you who are obsessed with the skin of woman. We reject your culture of using women to sell your products. This message is for Strickland. Please share this question with him. Please tell me what do ring girls have to do with an MMA match? Please tell us about your values and cultures that are not compatible with Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brother Khabib Nurmagomedov for stating the obvious. No, смотрите, давайте вот ring girls. Я никого не хочу обидеть, но это самые ненужные люди в единоборствах. 
какую функцию они носят. Вот у меня вопрос. Ну, включите на экран, что второй раунд идет. You are using women to sell your pay-per-view and using them as eye candy for men to enjoy between rounds. Is this the culture that you are proud of? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from such cultures and morals. On your walk back to the locker room, you made a detour to the ring girls. They seem surprised, as many of us were. What was that all about? Beautiful women is a decoration of any event. And I want people to know that. And no one have right to say that they are useless because they are on the place where they have to be. They were here at the beginning. And it's like, no matter, you will come in any event, you will see beautiful women. And you, as a man, like everyone, enjoy it. It's kind of like beautiful, right? And this is decoration. That's why uh, this is my message, that beautiful women, it's a decoration of any event. Subhanallah, even Shevchenko, who is supposed to be one of the best female fighters in the world, is saying that beautiful women are a decoration. She's telling beautiful young women and teaching them to be a decoration for the pleasure of men. They lost all respect and honor for themselves. Wallahi, this woman need Islam to gain their honor back. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide Christians and do us in general to Islam. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, We are a people who Allah has honored with Islam and whenever we seek to be honored through other than it Allah will bring us humiliation and I'm not again I'm not trying to change your country you could go do what the f you want to do but when you indoctrinate women to wearing a burqa and like oh it's their choice when you indoctrinate women wearing a burqa you can't leave your house without an escort like this is wrong and it's your country I'm not changing you but in America bro keep that out of yeah. here again please somebody tell this person that Islam is not a country and it's a religion and a way of life. So what he is saying is, please brainwash women to be naked. He is begging Muslim parents to stop raising them as good wives and good women. He wants them to be raised as promiscuous women and to be a toilet for men. Whenever they want to relieve themselves, they will go find a woman. They lost respect for their woman. They don't feel a protective jealousy for the woman in their country. But we Muslims, we will never bend the knee. We are the last force against liberal indoctrination and rain brainwashing indeed the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam and those who were given the scripture did not differ except after knowledge had come to them out of jealous animosity between themselves and whoever disbelieves in the verses of Allah then indeed Allah is swift in taking account alhamdulillah for the blessing of Islam please let's take this moment to appreciate our sisters because they are always the ones being attacked and I truly believe that our Muslim sisters and mothers are our first line of defense. They raise us to love Islam, even though there is a huge propaganda directed to our Muslim sisters to make them look like victims, just like this guy did. But they still hold their heads high, happy with the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wearing their hijabs and keeping their modesty, telling everybody they are women of value, modest and not approachable. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our sisters. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them and grant them the highest ranks in Jannah. I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about a blind Christian healed after baptism. And don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.